because I met Luke at a car show a year ago and was walking past his car and saw a sign that said a Chevy V8 in 1918. I said, I know Corvettes have V8s, but a 1918 V8? And I started talking with him and he says, you know, I bring my car over to schools and I thought, well, this is my hobby, but maybe I can inspire some other kids to have something to be a, have a passion about and that inspires your writing. And he said, I'll be glad to come to St. Mary's. Came last year and I saw him again and he said, you sure, I'll be glad to come again. That's how a 1918 Chevy V8 ended up at St. Mary's. Yeah, but, I mean, when you're passionate about something and you're doing it, I mean, you honestly can't be more happier than that. Like okay. for him and his car, the best thing for him is in having people enjoying and right. teaching and learning. And that's what I get too, teaching people how to snowboard, teach people how to wakeboard. And when you're passionate about something like that and you're really well known with it, I mean, it's it's so, it feels so good to be able to teach people about things that you are really truly in love with. So when next time someone asks you, when did Chevy make the first V8? Most people say in 1955. I mean, you can win stuff off this car. Take a picture and say, no, they made it in 1917 was the first year for this car. St. Mary's always offers those like outside experiences outside the classroom and it just really just, it was just incredible. I mean, it just really brings out like American history and our culture and whatnot. So it's, it's pretty amazing, pretty cool.